Do you know that there are four Asian types? Each person on this planet Earth belongs to at least one out of those four Asian types. Do you know which Asian type do you belong to? Well, today we will discuss the Bridget Asian type, which is the sagging face category. This is the type of agent that requires the most complex approach and is hard to work with. But hey, here in Fit Faces, I've got you covered, don't worry. People with this Asian type are usually big boned and have a tendency to gain weight easily. They usually have thick skin that gets heavily affected by gravity and tends to sag forming jowls. As a result, the whole lower part of the face starts to sag. The corners of the lips start to look down, forming an ever sad face. People with Bridget aging type also tend to get a fatty neck hump and a sunken neck that adds years to your face. A prime example of this aging type is the famous actress Bridget Bardot, hence the name. Now, if you belong to the Bridget aging type, the main areas that you need to pay attention to on your face is your eye area, your nasolabial folds, and your jawline. So today I want to show you the exercise that will improve the marionette lines, helps you to get rid of the jowls over here, you know, the sagging thing that we can get over here. Yeah, and also it will plump up your lips a little bit and lift the corners of your lips. Today we will be working with the muscle called depressor anguli oris. So now let me invite James here into my Fit Faces uh, video room and show you what this muscle looks like. Well, meet James. I used to call, I like to call him James because he looks like our IT support guy. <laughs> and then I'm not sure if he likes it or not. But um, anyway, so the muscle that we're working on is this muscle right over here. You see, it's a triangle muscle. So this is the muscle that when it's not right, yeah, when it's tensed, it tends to tense all the time because we do this all the time. So when it's tensed, it tends to cause jowls. It tends to call, it pulls the, the corners of our lips down. Yeah. And it also creates marionette lines, which are the lines, you know, that sometimes go over here on the sides of our face over here down. So let me show you what happens to the skin the James's skin, when this muscle, when this depressor anguli oris is tensed. So I have another visionary here. I killed three elastic bands <laughs> to show you this. So imagine this is our skin. Yeah, this pink thing is our skin. This purple strap here represents our muscles, our facial muscles. So as we know, our skin is closely attached to the muscles on our face, yeah? And as I said, the muscle, this depressor anguli oris, the muscle, the triangle muscle on the sides of our mouth, going down towards our chin, tends to tense. Yeah, so it shrinks. When it tenses, it shrinks, it shortens. So what? let's see what happens to the skin, to the pink strap, when the purple strap, our muscle, shortens, when it's tensed. You ready for that? This is what happens. And this is our jaws. This is the wrinkle that creates, uh, that, that is created when the muscle the purple band shortens. Now, when we lean out, when we stretch this muscle, when we return it to, the, to its natural length, let's see what happens. The skin tightens, the skin lifts, and we get rid of our wrinkles and we get rid of our jaws. Now, let's see again. When the muscle is tensed, the skin folds into a wrinkle. Now, when the muscle is leaned out, when it's returned to its natural length, let's see what happens now to our, you know, the pink strap to our skin. It tightens. 
As simple as that, I hope this visual helps you to understand, to better understand why we do facial exercises, why it is important to do facial exercises, and how this whole nature of our muscles, of our facial muscles, how it all works, and what we do with the muscles when we do facial exercises, why it all works. So I just showed you that. So let's go back to our triangle muscle. Let's take James again for a second. Yeah, and let's try to stretch, to lean out this muscle, yeah, to return it to its natural length, okay? So you can repeat this after me. I show this exercise uh, on a regular basis, but it's a very effective one, and I just want to repeat it one more time so you learn and, and you do it every day and you will see the results, and I can guarantee you that because... It's as simple as that. It's like I just showed you on this rubber bands. Thank you, Amazon, for those bands. Anyways, so what we need now is we need our knuckles. Yeah, uh, we put our lip together and make a skeptical face. Yeah, and we don't protrude our lips. We just kind of move them to the, to the corners of the lips to the side and make sure that the corners of your lips look up, not down. Now take your knuckles, yeah? And we will do it slightly different like I usually show you because I just want to work on the whole muscle over here. You see, it's tiny, this muscle, you can't even, well, you, first of all, you can't even uh, feel it, yeah? You can feel it only if you do the book called massage that I show, but you can't even feel it here. So I want you to imagine that it's over here, your triangle depressor and your light warriors. I want to massage it and I want to stretch it, yeah? So you lift the corners of your lips up by, by stretching it. So, skeptical face, knuckles, and then you start massaging. Good. And now, when you when you learned how to massage, it shouldn't hurt, but you should feel it. Yeah, don't forget that you're not working with the skin. You're working with the muscle under the skin. So I want you to put your knuckles over here, just above your um, just above your bone over here. Okay. And then with these knuckles, using circular moves, we'll go up, and then again, up, and then again. Good. So, let's go. Don't forget that you're working with the muscle. You're not working with the skin. So, this fear, this myth about... Um, facial exercises, stretching your skin, it is, and I'm sorry, but it is an absolute garbage because you know how hard it is to stretch the skin, yeah? Imagine when you're pregnant, you have, yeah, okay, sometimes you do get stretched marks, sometimes, but it takes nine months, nine months, your skin is so stretched, yeah? And we work with our skin for minutes, for seconds, we work with our muscles under the skin. So nothing, believe me, nothing bad is going to happen to your skin. What is going to happen is that it will become more radiant. It will become tighter. It will become glowing because we improve the blood circulation. We improve the lymph circulation. And we do this. We lean out. Oh, that is already broken a little bit, the visuary. Yeah, and what we do is we lean out the muscle and tighten and lift the skin. As simple as that. This is how fit faces work. This is how my face yoga work. So if you want to experience it, you can go and purchase the short program. First of all, you can you should actually do the uh, agent type quiz. Find out your agent type because different agent types require different approaches, different focus exercises. So you go ahead and you check my agent type quiz 
Find out your agent type and start with a short program. Start with just those tiny, teeny nine exercises that will already make a big difference on your face. And when you're ready, when you feel that face yoga is for you, when that facial exercises is the thing that just works for you, makes you happy that you want to do them, you can go ahead and purchase a bigger course. Purchase the course that will cover your entire facial area. They will cover all the areas, all the problem areas, everything on your face, on your neck, your shoulders. So go ahead and do that and I will see you on the other side.